Okay, I am here today with uh, S-Dog of the pregame tryhards. That's still your name, right? Yeah, yeah. Good to be with you. All right, and we are looking at uh, Granary today for hold positions and basically how to work your way through the map. So I guess we will just start with defending last. Yeah, usually I run around with a like a chicken with my head cut off either on this side or around here, but I never figure out where to hold as a medic that's solid. All right. Um basically, you want to be playing up if you have uh uber advantage or equal ubers. Even if you guys both just used your ubers, you want to be up you want your soldier probably on this side. I enjoy this side the most. Why don't you walk around to that door and I'll show you why. Alright. Spam damage. Oh yeah. That'll hit anybody trying to come through this door and it'll give you a good idea of if they're like pushing through or not. Okay. And you're completely protected. So if the soldier's on this door, the demo man is probably going to be on the other door. Which he usually is. Yeah, you know. just sticky. And then you're probably just going to want your scout on the pipes, like, patrolling these windows. Okay. Because yeah, he can jump between the two pipes. He's got a lot of, you know, ability to get around. If you guys are playing up, your heavy's going to be one right here. And you're, you're going to be standing right there. And his job is just to make sure, like, nothing gets at you. And the reason you're here is because it's impossible to get sniped or backstabbed, really. Mm-hmm. The thing you have to be careful of, you need good calls, and you need a good read on the enemy. If they have uber advantage, they're just going to walk out here and kill you, because they don't have to cover any ground. And if you're holding back, it's kind of a crapshoot. You know that they're always going to have a sniper. Like, You can protect yourself from the left by being here with your heavy, but somebody's got to be on that right door so the sniper doesn't just step out and take your head. Yeah. Most important thing is just have somebody on every door. Like, and you have nine people, so you should be able to get at least two left, two center, and two right. No, oh, on second. Um, I don't know. Like, the team usually likes to play it sixes style, demo man covering here, but with the heavy with them, and soldier over here okay personally i think demo is a little stronger on this side like just lay your trap down and be prepared to respond to the point because he can he can see it he can take see both by taking like two steps mm -hmm. um i think this door is a little easier to trap people aren't expecting it to be trapped so you're going to get more picks but that's just me probably change it up if you're going to try that but it's pretty easy to just have you know, half your team over here or more just watching these two doors and, you know, a few people over on the right. It's it's not that hard. If you're um, pushing out, you really have to be... This is where you have to get aware. Like, you have to know to clear the top area, clear the tunnel back there. Uh, okay. Um, shit. Really? Okay, apparently I'm super awesome today. Yeah, if you're coming in, just be wary of stuff like this. Yeah. Alright. That's if you're pushing in on offense. Or if you're pushing out of second, like you just you had a good engagement, you don't want to get picked. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, and watch clear that, the lamp you can stand on. Uh, Adam. Yes? Uh, let's go back to second. Engineer placement. Um, you... probably not the best to consult about this. Okay. Yeah, I don't really... I think Abe generally just runs minis throughout the whole map because he can stay with the team and put out DPS versus just, like, having a place to fall back to if an engagement doesn't go well. Mm-hmm. Because you kind of play on the back foot in that sense if you're going 8v9 with, like, a fail-safe. Yeah. 
I I would I imagine should. he's putting it up there though. Yeah. And usually I if I do hold out it'll be right here. Although I I do prefer this cuz you can have your back to the wall and you can just heal everybody that they generally the rule for medic is they come to you for heals, not the other way around. Yep. They need to rotate to you because you don't want to get sniped. So pushing into second, you gotta watch that lamp. The lamp up there. There's all these window sills. You just look up as you come through. I mean, clear the doors for traps. You can actually shoot the other side of the door with rockets, like so that stickies will fall down if they're right here. Same with okay. the other door. And then, you know, mid's mid here. It's just, you know, people on the crates. It's gonna be a big clusterfuck. Just see if you can out TM. And just try to stay alive if you and back out if you see some of your team are going down and the other team isn't. Mm -hmm. There's a lamp on this side. You need to clear it. You need to check the top of the silos. As you come through. Uh, soldier can get up there? I'll show you. Alright. Oh, that's pretty freaking sweet. Yeah, and you just drop down on the meta. I'll let Barry know that. If, the, if they used to have um, middle, you need to walk over here and look into the forward respawn and make sure nobody's in there. Okay. Somebody does, preferably like Scout. You know, clear that for stickies. See, there's no stickies hiding in the circle or behind the camera. Or on the exit sign. Okay. Oh, there's another good spot over here, actually. Yeah, if the medic comes through this way, just boom, dead. Wow, nice. Yeah, a lot of places can't, things can go wrong if you're not looking out for them. Um. Generally, garage push is a lot stronger than like trying to push main, unless you have uber advantage, because you can just get right into them. Yeah. If you can start like peeking garage with your demo man and put out damage and spam them out, like so they have to retreat to the point and then just take upper, you have the high ground advantage. And basically, they have, if they're smart, they're gonna back out until you drop down and then try to fight you. But if they're dumb, they'll just get killed like, while you're above them. Okay. And if you're fast, you can just drop down and, like, sticky the door and lock them out, or make them f pop, and then just kite their uber back out. Pushing last is kind of tough. Um, generally, because it's such a long, horizontal map, I try to run the whip the whole time, and that way, like, I can just start whipping people and get them out into the fight and cross this distance faster. They recently buffed the whip by giving the scout the the baby face blaster so that you can actually whip the scout and make him faster. Like if he if he <laughs> a funny thing you can do is like whip your scout, have him use criticola and just uber the scout in and he just gets uber and mini crits and he can just start cleaning people up. Yeah. Our scout actually loves the criticola. It's hilarious in uber pushes. But, um, yeah, just basically, like, overload aside. Like, if you have uber advantage, it's not too tough. But you can get cleaned up because the distance is so far and they can kite your uber. Yeah. Usually what I do is I'll, I'll, uh, I'll call out and then I'll, you know, 80. And then I'm buffing the entire team. And then we push through. And I'm always on the demo first through the door. Because the demo only gets 260 buff and the heavy 450, so... Heavy can take a little bit more damage. Well, the demo should generally be behind the heavy. Like, if you can uber him and gr he grooves out, like, he can get in position and defend while your demo spams. 
But um, basically in like last pushes like this, what every team member needs to be thinking about is creating advantages. And that doesn't mean just getting picks. Like the soldier, if it's like a long stalemate, he can build a buff banner or any kind of banner. And uh, like anything will help in a last push. Like the sniper can save his Jurati for the actual push so the heavy can clean up. Like anything like that. The spy can just get in position. Oh, important thing for spy actually. If you go up the upper route, and you can actually get up here by jumping on that first peg. Get, get on the, the ring. Just double jump onto the, the metal around the post. Bear with me. <laughs> yeah, and just jump up here. Up onto the okay. ledge from there. Wow. My scout. Okay, just go through garage, run up the ramp. <laughs> <laughs> In my loadout, if I explained my key configuration, you probably thought I was crazy. So, as spy, you can just uh, cloak, go out this window, and jump up onto the pipe. And if you're like cloak and dagger, you can just wait here. Just wait for a pick, wait for the Uber to come in, and just drop on the sentry. Just so it just gets taken out of the picture completely. Nice. I'll let Fenster know that. But, like you said, your main worry was defense, not offense, right? Yeah. Like, last night we co constantly had uber advantage, and that's so huge on pushes. Yeah. Like, I didn't even need to worry about counter ubers at all. Uh, we... We just straight up out DM'd them. We... we Never lost a mid. Alright, well, but, was there anything else you had questions about? Uh, we didn't discuss Sentry Gun last point, if you want to do that for your viewers. Uh, yeah, okay. Like, um, like I said before, I'm not, like, an authority on this, but, uh... A lot of people build it on the right side here. Like, they just want it to cover the point and kill anybody who tries to jump on the high pipe, mm -hmm. essentially. Personally, I'm a fan of having it behind the, uh, the crates here. I think that it's... Or, um, like right here. So it just shoots anybody who comes out. But it's a little easier to take out that way during the Uber push. Um, a uh, little caveat, um, when are you going to actually produce this? Oh, um, I, I record in such a way as I can just upload it while I go to school tonight. Okay. Well, since the update, there's a bug to where some of the times you will not see the opponent. Yeah, the I've noticed that in pubs. Like, it's generally when the engineer is, like, around it while it's building and stuff. Like, yeah, I've noticed them walk away and it suddenly appears. Yeah, you know, the first first time that you put the gun up right here I couldn't see it um if you want to go back to blue spawn for a second like uh, I want to show you something all right this is one of those maps where it's so old that they didn't quite have the concept of map symmetry down while they were making it in terms of like relevance like all the props mm -hmm. yeah should have just respawned, dude. <laughs> so, only the blue engineer can do this, but you just uh, hop onto the low pipe, go onto the lamp, and get up here. This is a hugely annoying sentry position. Easily spammed, but if you can coordinate your team to like give you an opening to build it, or move it up here, it's so obnoxious to take down, especially if you're a good wrangler. Mm-hmm. 640 HP. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I think that pretty much covers it. Yeah, that's mainly what I had questions. 
questions I had answered, so I appreciate this. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Alright, well, I'm gonna call it then. Alright.